What in the world is subsidence and why should you know about it? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Alice Ford and this is Nature News live from Mexico City. Now this is the largest city in North America and one of the most populous ones in the entire world. It's culturally and architecturally beautiful, full of amazing restaurants and structures from the days of the Maya and Aztec. But Mexico City has a big problem. It's sinking. Now subsidence is a geologic phenomenon that happens when too much groundwater is pulled from an aquifer. And what happens is that the land begins to compact underneath it. It's a concern in many places around the world, but most notably where I'm standing right now here in Mexico City. Now, there are actually parts of the city that are sinking at 20 inches per year. Geologists have calculated that over the next 150 years, the city could drop another 65 feet, which as you can imagine is an engineering nightmare for city infrastructure. Now, Mexico City is one of the largest metropolitan areas in the world, as I said. The city itself has a population of over 20 million, and it relies almost solely on groundwater, with 70% of its water supply coming from underground. Now, the aquifer that's here, it can't provide for this population size, and the drawing down of the water is actually adding stress to the ground the city sits on. Many areas of the city actually suffer from frequent water shutoffs, and there often isn't enough water for sanitation and hygiene for many of the city residents. The subsidence problem here though, it started many, many years ago and it's more than just the aquifer. It actually goes back two millennia to the building of the Aztec capital where Mexico City now sits. Now the issue began when the Aztec built the capital of Tenochtitlan on an island in Lake Texcoco. Now when the Aztecs were actually massacred, the Spanish drained the lake that used to sit here and began building on top of it. And bit by bit, century after century, Mexico City sprang to life on a foundation of lake sediment, not meant to support such a massive population or a massive amount of buildings. So as the city depletes the aquifer and the underground lake more, the clay, the silt, and the sediment that are underneath the city, they dry and weaken. The lake bottom and the removal of the water combined is what's causing Mexico City to sink faster than any other city in the world. But that's not all. The big problem here is that the city isn't sinking as a whole. Some areas are on clay while others are on rock, which is causing a huge issue for infrastructures when you've got parts sinking a little and parts sinking a lot. Now, when you're dealing with buildings and land that are connected, but changing depths at different levels, it's an almost impossible problem to fix or stop. Threats to roadways, subways, and the city sewer system are a huge concern here. And it's no wonder why, as I walk around, almost every historical building here is under construction. But it isn't just Mexico City that faces issues of subsidence, but every city that's taking more water than nature can naturally replenish. Jakarta, Indonesia is sinking by up to 10 inches per year, and the San Joaquin Valley over in California has reportedly sunk 28 feet over the last few centuries. Now, sadly, there's little that we can do to stop subsidence, especially if we continue to draw down on the aquifers that are already severely limited. But there are things that you can do to reduce water. You can reduce and conserve the water that you use by taking shorter showers, not running the faucet when brushing or washing, reusing non-toxic water on plants or your yard. You can also put in drought resistant landscaping if you can afford it. And most importantly, you need to be aware of what and how much water you're using. Conservation, as we know, only works if we can all do our part and do it together. So if you guys want to learn more about subsidence, I have left some resources in the description below. And don't forget to leave a comment and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And if you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up too. As always, I'm Alice Ford and I will see you guys in the next video.